The nuclear power plants, when completed, will significantly reduce the cost of electricity in the country. Presently, power in the country is being sold to industry at about 17 cents per kilowatt hour, as compared to about 8 cents per kilowatt hour with nuclear energy. The Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, has since thrown its support for the move, arguing that it would make the local manufacturing sector competitive in the sub-region. Presently, there are no nuclear power plants in Ghana, even though the first president of the country, Kwame Nkrumah, created the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission in 1963 and initiated the plans for the Ghana Nuclear Reactor Project in 1964. Executive Director of Nuclear Power Ghana, Dr. Stephen Yamwa, shed light on the progress made so far. The nuclear program and the nuclear project in Ghana, now from our perspective, is not a question of whether we can do it. Rather, it's a question of time. When are we, you know, connecting the first unit to the grid? And I'm happy to say that we are on course with our phase two targets. And uh, hopefully, once we identify the vendor and we start, you know, contract discussions, uh, things will even speed up more so that we can um, meet our target of you know, having the first nuclear, you know, in our country. Um, you know, somebody asked the question, in Africa, where is the manufacturing hub? And obviously it's in South Africa. And they have two nuclear power plants. And that's the only country in Africa with nuclear power plants. Many have expressed worry about the energy option, but Dr. Yamwa believes there is no cause for concern. And so, Yes, the issues, the you know, that fear, you know, that nuclear fear, you know, some of which are more of a warfare than, you know, the, the civil application is there. I want to encourage Kenyans that they should have faith in us, that we are doing the program and the project following through the internationally recommended uh, guidelines. And we will not do anything that will be um, unsafe for the country and of course for us.